To create the frame, we're going to make a rectangle. So on the left hand side, we choose the rectangle tool, click, and we can make the measurements that we want. So it's going to be a total of 200 millimeters wide by 430 high, and we're going to press OK. You can also draw it yourself, but if you do it like this, it's better. And then you're going to center that into the space. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line along this frame next to it that is going to be 200, uh, about 200 length in length. So you can, you know, try to get close to that, draw it, or you can just type the size and then, um, Put it next to the edge of the square. You can use these uh, your arrows to move it across until it's right on the top. And now we're going to select this uh, direct selection tool, which is that white arrow. We're going to click on the corner to get that node. And then um, we're going to paint the outline of the scyther a different color so we can differentiate. And we're going to move that node up to meet uh, up there the edge of the scyther. So this is roughly the space of the scyther and then we need to accommodate everything else uh, into that space. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to organize all the elements that I have here. And those elements are going to be um, placed at the top and at the bottom to um, allow me to know where the bars that carry the pins are going to be so they don't hide my designs, okay? because I'm going to have to have a distance between the top and the bottom of the scyther, which are going to have um, the ones where the pins are inserted on either end. So now we are going to save this file to my computer. Uh, click on save on my computer. save this to um, our folder so command s and then find your folder and save once that it saves it's going to give you this window just press ok don't change anything and your project is saved so now i'm going to put this down here and adjust the angle so we can do the minimum distance that this has to stand around okay so i'm gonna select that just press shift and deselect the other one which is by clicking on it again and then we can just put this over here And then the sound hole is going to be here in the middle. 